Hello, and welcome to the Joyful Bookshelf, where books are fun. Subscribe for new books read aloud every week. Today's read aloud is part of our Dive into Summer reading series. I will be uploading a new read aloud every Monday in June. If you want to follow along, you can pick up these four books at your local library. Now let's dive into the first book. Froggy Learns to Swim by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkiewicz. It was hot. It's a great day for a swim, said Froggy's mother. So Froggy and his parents flopped outside to the pond. Flop, flop, flop. On your mark, get set, go. Froggy's father sailed in. Splash. Froggy's mother sailed in. Splash. But where was Froggy? Froggy! called his mother. What? Come on in and swim. No, no, I don't know how to swim. I want to swing. Whee! sang Froggy, swinging higher and higher. He swung so high he almost touched the sky. He swung so high he wound round and round the crossbar. Zing! then unwound like a spring, zing, and flew through the air. Right smack into the pond, splash. What are you doing? asked Froggy's mother. I'm drowning, cried Froggy. Help! He grabbed hold of his mother and climbed on. What do you mean you're drowning? Don't you know frogs are born in the water? They are great swimmers. Not me, bubbled Froggy. I can't swim. Oh, fiddlesticks, she said. I'll show you how. First, float on your belly and stick your face in. I won't let go. Say, bubble, bubble, underwater. Then raise your face for air and say, toot, toot. I don't want to, Froggy whined. Oh, come on, Froggy, just try it. Repeat after me. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, sputtered Froggy. Great, now float on your back and do the frog kick. I won't let go. Then go like this. And she showed Froggy how, saying, chicken, airplane, soldier. Do it and repeat after me. Chicken, airplane, soldier. I don't want to, whined Froggy. Oh, come on, Froggy, just try it. Chicken, airplane, soldier, gasped Froggy. He glubbed and blubbed and almost sank. Mommy, I need my flippers, then I'll swim. Froggy climbed out and flopped back to his house. He pulled on his flippers, zoop, and flopped back to the pond. Flop, flop, splash. Now try it again, said Froggy's mother. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Chicken, airplane, soldier. He glubbed and blubbed and almost sank. Mommy, I need my mask and snorkel. Then I'll swim. Froggy climbed out and flopped back to his house. He pulled on his mask and snorkel. Zook, zick, and flopped back to the pond. Flop, flop, splash. Now one more time, said Froggy's mother. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Chicken, airplane, soldier. And then it happened. Oops, sputtered Froggy. What's the matter? asked his mother. Oh, nothing, he said, looking more red in the face than green. Well, it's getting cold, Froggy. It's time to get out. No, no, I can't get out. Why not? Well... And he bubbled underwater while she crawled out. Then he burst up for air and yelled, Wait! What is it? asked his mother. 
my bathing suit, he shouted. Don't look, I'm getting out. Froggy climbed out and yanked on his bathing suit with a zap of elastic. Then he pulled on his flippers, zup, and sailed back into the pond. Flop, flop, splash. Froggy, called his mother. What? I told you, it's time to get out. No, no, I don't want to get out. I want to swim. Froggy's mother shook her head. I told you frogs are great swimmers, she said, and sat down with Froggy's father to watch him. And Froggy sang, Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. All night long, swim. Thank you for watching our Dive Into Summer reading series. Leave me a comment down below and tell me how many books you plan to read this summer. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that blue circle in the middle of the page to subscribe so you don't miss any new books read aloud every Monday.